The ice storm was really scaring my daughter. She never dealt with the looming fear of the tornadoes at our home in Oklahoma very well, and the Alaskan blizzard was the same deal but far worse. Our family vacation wasn't going well for her. The extended family and four giant timeshares. Wasn't the kind of vacation she asked for, but it was nearly free for us. We should have stayed home. My childless sister that paid for the trip wouldn't stop explaining how quickly you could die out in the cold. I had to keep explaining that we were inside and safe. Rachel, she just wouldn't listen. The what ifs. What if the wind blows down the cabins? What if the power goes out? What if the fireplace gets out of control and burns down our shelter? She was so worried that she wouldn't take off her puffy coat despite how sweltering it was in our cabins. As worried as I was about disappointing her, I was also fed up with it. So was my wife. Rachel didn't want to go to bed. I doubted she would sleep. I hope you don't think me a bad father for just wanting some vacation sex with my wife in the other room. Normally, we wouldn't let her play on her switch right before bed, but we let her play with it as long as she wanted. If she stayed in her room, she wouldn't play it. Too anxious about the snowy ice wrapping against the window. Regardless, we left her alone. We were woken up in the night by the sound of a window shattering and Rachel screaming. We rushed into Rachel's room to find an icy snowball had broken the window. Looking out into the frigid abyss, we saw a man in a black coat, motionless, with his arm raised as if throwing something. I'll spare you the ensuing panic and drama and skip right to the morning when the police arrived. Yes, the man was frozen solid, a groundskeeper showing signs of a stroke.